as you come through immigration and customs and then uh, you enter into the main part of the airport once you uh, clear all that you come out just here as you can see people coming out and then you come into this area and And so you emerge into this area. So then you have some choices. You can go out this way to the shuttle bus, which takes you to the airport bus terminal, which has buses to take you to different parts of Bangkok and Pattaya also. So as you come out from arriving from your flight, and take the exit that's directly in front of where you come out of Immigration and Customs, cross over the pedestrian crossing that I just showed you, and here you can see there's a shuttle bus stop, and you can take a shuttle bus here, which takes only a few minutes to go to the airport bus station, which has a bunch of buses that connect to uh, different areas of Bangkok and Pattaya and uh, yeah a lot of interesting places can be handy for some people you can buy a sim card somewhere in here or you can use a money changer to get some if you don't have any already and you can see there are some escalators with information so we're gonna head down and we're gonna show you some transport options Okay, if you're going to take the normal taxi, you're going to come out here. Then you're going to turn left here, get in the line, and you get a chit up here, and you're going to have to pay a surcharge of 50 baht over the normal taxi price. But of course we don't want to do that. There are some toilets just up here if you need them before you leave the airport. But we're gonna head down to the next level. Sometimes you need a taxi if you arrive really late in the night, for example, after the airport link is finished, then fair enough. You might think if you have a lot of luggage you should take a taxi, but um, normally they have LPG cylinders in the trunks. So they don't really have that much luggage space. The airport link has plenty of luggage space. It can be a bit crowded at certain times though, but that's definitely the best way to go. And here it is. So we're in the basement level now and as you can see it's all very simple there's a few shops cafes as well there are ticket machines there's a cashier's office you can buy a ticket there you don't have change so you simply buy your token here and go on through
there's an escalator but I decided to take the stairs and there's a skywalk to connect to the BTS system where you can head north to the north part of Bangkok or uh, can head into the modern center of Bangkok from here so this could be the best option for a lot of people and the entrance to the BTS system also ticket machines and some snacks and drinks are available There's a very convenient bus stop also uh, which is where it's possible to uh, take a bus basically almost directly to Khao San Road it drops you off about a five minute walk from Khao San Road that's a great option for backpackers of course Khao San Road is the main backpacker area of Bangkok So taking the bus from here, if you use the airport link and the bus, it's a very cheap and very quick way, very easy way to get to Khao San Road. It's probably the quickest, easiest, cheap way. So if you just come down this way. Okay, and as we come to the bottom of the stairs, if you just uh, walk a little bit up here, there's a bus stop which takes you to Khao San Road. Okay, but anyway, if you go over those tracks just a little bit, you can find the bus stop there to Khao San Road. But we want to now go back the opposite direction. because there is another option if you want to go to Khao San Road area you can walk about maybe 12 minutes in this direction and you'll come to a canal there's a bridge going over the canal you just cross the bridge and under the bridge you'll find a boat station for the Klong San Sep canal boat service and if you go to the last stop on that and the last station is called Panfa Lilan and it's very cheap to go along that way and it's really interesting very scenic it's a real slice of Bangkok Thai lifestyle definitely recommended but only if you don't have uh, too much luggage so if you have a normal size backpack you should be alright unless it's the busiest time of day then it might be a bit tight but but I wouldn't attempt it with suitcases that's for sure
and the Siam Square boat station. And that's Siam Square, just up there with the tangle of train lines and roadways. It's the main hub of the modern part of Bangkok with most of the best shopping malls. But let's head under here. And you can see Some food options here and a cute little boat station where you can jump on a boat to Panfali land which is about a 15 minute walk from Khao San Road. The boats come from this direction and go down this direction to Panfali land. That's where we finish up for this session. See you guys in the next one. And don't be late. Well, it used to be possible to come up onto the fifth floor in Sivanapum Airport and go out where cars and taxis and vans drop people off at the arrivals entrance and then you could jump in a taxi that drops someone else off without having to pay the 50 baht taxi surcharge that you have to pay on the lower level. Is it still possible? I've heard from people that it's not. Let's have a peek outside the, the uh, entrance. We'll go out the indoor and have a look. So you can see they've segregated the traffic the first lane here is for private vehicles and maybe some van services which drop people here at the arrivals level and then on the other side of this part you see there's a barrier with a guard there and that's where taxis stop to uh, drop people off Let's see, if, see if we can get through there or not so this is, well, you see there's actually a barrier, but can just squeeze through there. But will they let you do that if you're carrying a shoulder bag? Maybe. You can see there's a whole bunch of exits along the way there. And they all have a crossing like this one, maybe at least six of them, I think. So in the past, I used to come out this way and jump in a taxi that dropped someone off and yeah. It's good if you're a backpacker on a shoestring budget. Is it still possible to do it? Well, someone just called that taxi to me, so I would say it could be if the security guards are in a good mood, right? Hmm. Looks like a few other people are doing it. When the airport link first opened, a friend of mine was uh, flying through Bangkok and had a half day layover on the way to Japan and I met her at the airport. She was dressed in this kind of gothic Lolita Japanese style outfit and she was uh, she'd obviously been taking advantage of the free drinks on the flight. Anyway we got on the airport link and uh, in those days they had an express service and a normal service. The express service we got on they had uh, pairs of seats facing each other. Booth style 
which uh, gave quite a bit of privacy. So anyway, we got on the uh, wagon uh, and the train right at the very end of the wagon and there was no one else on the train at all. Very uh, private and we got very cozy and cuddly down there in the end of the wagon. And uh, well, it's a family channel, so um, I won't say too much, but I was very impressed with the smooth ride.